Oh, yes, coach. No coach. Three bags full, coach. What's it like in there? It's grand. Not a bother on it. River water. Fresh out the river. <laughs> you booty. Come on. Get her back going. <laughs> now. Into the carbon bag we go. Today's one is I have no steps to follow. All I have is an open timber and a knife. <laughs> so it's kinda I'm gonna have to try to go by memory. Right? That's gonna be fun, but at least you get to see now, like, you know. You get to see my face and how much stress I want. <laughs> Something on the screen, the phone. It hasn't rained anyway, thank God. This is going to be a little stop start video, right? As in, I'll do stuff and then I'll pause and I'll do stuff. I don't know what this wood is going to be like. You'll soon see, won't you? How will you start something like this? How did the lads start it when they're doing it? Is take out a corner here. Oh, this might be carbon nice. No, right. Uh, we'll start somewhere else then. Maybe here. It's very soft. I probably should have kept the other fucking block that I cut up the fucking kindle. Idiot. Yeah, this is very, uh. Shit. But we'll, we'll manage, we'll try. We'll make something out of it. It's something that I leave here for it's something I leave there. I've done that before, I made little carvings and people have actually like I left one here beside me. In the in the the gap in the tree and someone took it. That's what I wanted, like, you know. But the cool thing is you don't know where he is, you know. You don't know where it's gone. Right, there's a bit of dullness in the knife, so wherever you may go. Always carry a strop. Especially if you have knives. If, if you have no knives or anything like that, don't bother carrying the strop because then you just have a strop for no reason. all I do. See this tape? This tape was the biggest mistake I've ever made because what's happening is when I'm moving the knife it's all going forward. So uh, see this tape? This tape can fucking go fuck. Yeah. I'm out. I'm out to me. I just hope it's not all punky and sticky now or anything. I won't be. It'll be dirty <laughs> Fucking pause. Oh yeah, and for anyone interested, here's a new one for me. Uh, I ordered these two knives, gloves, a strop, strop and compound, and stuff. It's a kit basically, right? And I bought one of them off wish, just to see what it's like, right? And if it's good. Anyone who's interested, I'll be doing a giveaway. I'll be giving away the knife, the whole kit actually. comes with gloves as well, so you'll get two. Actually, it, it comes with one of these knives. One of these, one of the big fat ones I have. It comes with the strop. It comes with gloves. It also has the, the hooped one for the spoons. So if that's good, folks, I'll get a couple of them. I'll get two of them, right? That's what I'll do. And I'll do a draw. The video, I'll, up, I'll upload the video and I'll basically say, like, put your name in the comments if you want in. You know? And 
it's only going to be Ireland and UK folks just to let you know I'm not going sending stuff halfway across the world well depending Ireland UK Europe you know because uh, that'll be as fucking far as I'd want to send anything and plus them Americans don't send us that and so <laughs> every video you watch there is like but in fairness, I wouldn't blame them with big things because sending something big to America is, it does cost a fucking a lot, like, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Well, there's the start of legs. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to do is head. We're going to even off this. This could be spruce. No idea. But yeah. I'm going to do a giveaway with, if they are good. Because I know there's a few of you who are interested in carving and probably haven't maybe got the funds for the knives. Now I will say this folks, there won't be these. These are like 12 quid each. They're a very good knife. I've had them now a long time. Fella gave them to me. Bacon soda, check him out. He's a good channel on YouTube. He's a wood turner and he's also a gardener. He's been very quiet lately. It's just the way it goes. I know, I know, I can understand. Making YouTube videos can be, can be a bit of work in them, especially with all the editing and stuff like that, you know? Like, I could make these videos now, right? And I have to go home then and edit them. And it's, you know, they all take time to upload, to process, everything. Like. So, you know, I do put in effort, and I'm not getting paid for it. I don't. I really don't want to get paid for it. Like that. I'm just sharing artistic talents and what I'm doing. Right, so that's his feet, right? So then you're gonna like, you're gonna be all happy. He has feet, and you're gonna go right. What do we now need now? So we need this head. So what you do is you picture the whole block, and you come down. Where's your head? That'll be around the bottom of your chin there, right? Like so, that'll be the bottom of your chin. I'm trying to show you in a way because I can't be moving cameras and stuff like that because I have no tripod with me. So you make a corner to start off his head, right? I'll probably make this a two or three part video as well because it's going to be a long one. So, there's his head after coming out. You can see that, right? So that means his neck, his neck is going to have, or the back of his head, is going to have to be here, a little bit higher. So what I'll do is I'll take out that so you look, so you can see what I'm talking about. And as I said folks, this is a bit of a palette and it's actually, I started off being iffy about it, but it's carving okay. Now look there's the, the back of his head, and the front. this is the front and this is the back. Literally, if you put a line there, you have the shape of his head. So I'll do that, and then I'll do the other side. Literally, all you do with that is push in at the side. Oh, this is so hard to do. Push in either side like that. I like to turn the block around sometimes. Because if you're working against the grain, it can be a bit helpful to you. You know what I mean? This is carving okay for whatever it is. I actually don't know what it is. A bit of wind now. I hope that doesn't disturb the camera. If it does, turn me down. Right, there's his first. You see what happened? Feet. Bottom of his chin, back of his head. That's fucking nine minutes already. So I'm going to go on to the next one. And what I'll have done in the next one is I'll have the other side hollowed out. Can you see it? Can you see it come to shape? Ooh. I'll be back. I'll be back. Release the fury. <laughs> Howdy. Still here. Fire is still burning. Squeeze! <laughs> Squeeze! Oh my eye! 
boys! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> They killed me! Look! Oh, fucking cunt to be out! Ash will still sit in front of it anyway. We're already out of Anyway, back to this creature. He now has shoulders. Ew. Tasted like campfire. Yeah. You continue on, right? You have your feet. You have your shoulder lines. And we're going to do the back of your head. The same thing. Dig in your knife. A little bit. And carve up to it. Now, it's getting a bit tough now, so it is. Nothing's tough enough for these knives. Well, apart from you, you is a fucking nightmare to turn, or to, to turn and to carve. I've, I've turned it as well, it's, it's fairly tough. You see, this is rock solid wood now where the nail went in. Because obviously, iron would seep into the pores in the wood. So yeah, another one would be paying attention to grain, which I don't work on with wood my whole life. Still can't figure out how to follow the grain. You know? Because there's sometimes there you could be carving something. Next thing you, know, you turn it around and it's easier to carve. So, yeah. Like there's a lot of sap lines in this. Or whatever them rings are. Resin, I suppose. Because it's fucking rock solid. You can hear it. Already had a smoke away. <laughs> I always do this. I bring the head up, the back of the head up too high. It's because I'm not following the tutorial, you know. I'm only doing it myself. So, what am I going to do now? I'm going to do. I don't know. <laughs> I suppose I'll do the front. His front. Same thing. Dig in your knife. And cut back up to it. I know you can't see, but like, it's like a kind of a tutorial on how to get the basics down, I suppose, isn't it? How to get the eyes cut out of your fucking head by smoke. But yeah. The basics is all you really need. And how to control the knife. And feeling comfortable with the knife. That's the big thing. Feeling comfortable. But that's how you get the deep cuts. You get in there. And you're not afraid to get in there. Like, you know. but don't be too cocky. because These knives are sharp as fuck. Yes, there's the front of his head. The back of his head. You can see him coming to shape. Now the back of the legs. So I'm going by imaginary lines here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my foot right around. And again. And about there is where I want my feet, I'd say. So yeah. What we do there is the same thing. Bring it up a bit. Take out a corner first. Corners help. It's a bit tough there now, so it is. In some bits, it's just all what way the wood is like. Okay, I could go off and buy basswood, but I don't want to. No, I don't want to buy it for some reason. Why, I don't know. I want to find my own stuff and carve my own, you know. If I can't get basswood, I can't get basswood, so what? 
I'm not gonna take lazy way out. No, just buy basswood because the carbs like fucking butter. I'll sit here, go through the effort of, of getting where I need to be. And horsing through these fucking pitch lines. Or tree lines, tree rings. Is there what caused me hardship? But again, there's patience and time. Oh, a lot of patience and time to do it, to do it, to do it, right, sir, or right, sir, or whatever the fuck he says. Yeah, it's gonna take time. <laughs> a whole lot of precious time. That I'll say. Oh, come on, when you've little figures standing around you and you've little men looking at you, it's well worth it. It's well worth the effort. Right, so. Is the video gone skippy? No. There's the back of his legs. And we need the side of his legs. I think. Or do we need the hands? Or we need the sides? But the sides is the same thing. Bringing in a line, cutting down to it. I wish I had a head cam, because then you could actually see everything. Roughest part or the hardest part is getting it all roughed out, shape, and stuff like that. But once you have it all roughed out and shape, it becomes fun because you can start seeing things. Every cut you make reveals something. Like that. There's one side of the spot, and the other side now. Like, look at that bit now. That bit's going to carve nicely because there's not a big dirty tree ring in the way. Eat my words. Mouth, you fucking bastard. Ah. Uh. You look very, uh, shit along the bottom. Yeah, so now we can stake it. Uh, staking. Start taking off corners. Actually, eight minutes. We're going to go on to the next one.